Hey guys, welcome back to our uh, our drawing that we were working on, and I'm going to ask that you uh, bear with me, I'm not feeling super well today, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, so, the show must go on. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and start off um, adding more, uh, a little more facial color onto our drawing. So what we're going to go ahead and do, mind you, now, um, if you didn't watch my other video about sketchbook updating, you might want to watch it before we continue with this, because uh, the whole you know, interface is a little, it's, it's still the same, but it's just squished around and things are in different places, so you might want to take a look at that first. Um, so yeah, I had no idea that it was going to update, but it updated, and now... Things are a little bit different, but it's not that big a deal. Um, it's just, like I said, a few things are in different places. But we can, anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and um, get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer. And now when you add a new layer, you just tap this little plus button up here. Um, it's a little different than before, but regardless, that's all you have to do. And select our color we're gonna go with a uh, kind of peachy kind of a peachy red color and make sure you have your okay we already have it selected our airbrush tool and let's see let's drop our opacity to about let's try 55% Okay, and we can, thankfully, uh, this uh, wheel is still here to adjust the size of everything, so that's still there. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, just start adding a little bit, a little bit of facial color in. So, yeah. Pretty much just like that. I think we need to drop the opacity a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Make sure you guys can see that. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and merge. Uh, we're gonna merge that layer. Okay, so that's merged. <coughs> and now. Um, create a new layer because we are going to work on um, a little bit of the uh, shadowing okay so let's close that up and I'll drop our opacity to about uh, 47 let's close that and shrink this down a little bit Right, yeah, about right there. Okay, so then we're going to come up over here on this corner. And we're just going to start shading in a little bit more. Just making these shadow lines a little bit stronger than they are right now. Oh, yeah, I want to say thank you to all the new uh, subscribers and those of you that have been with me from the beginning which was like a month ago, but regardless, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. Um, you know, you guys are doing a good job and keeping me encouraged to keep making these videos. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you, for, thank you for that. Okay, so that's looking pretty decent. Okay, uh, let's come up over right here. shadow in this a little bit more okay now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, drop the opacity just a little bit more it's a little bit too strong for my liking right now okay that's good all right now we're going to go ahead and merge that 
again, merge, <laughs> and uh, here's another thing that we need to do uh, before it gets too far away from us. Um, we need to highlight her eyebrow a little bit just so it doesn't disappear. So we can still use black, which is what we already have selected. So let's just shrink this down and let's just do little strokes just like that. Just like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is go back to our opacity layer. Well, on our regular layer, but open the opacity settings. And we're going to drop this down. Okay, that looks good. That's about at 52% for anyone who is struggling trying to see that. I don't know how well you can see it, but anyway, it's at 52%. So we're going to go ahead and merge that with the other layer. Let's see, and we are at six minutes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do before um before I cut this video off, do 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 is add a new layer, and we're still gonna be using uh black, so don't switch from black, but we're going to uh drop that to about fifty seven percent. Okay, now we're gonna highlight just a little bit of the uh, shadowing on her uh on her hood. Just like that. Maybe stretch this out, make it a little bit bigger. darken that up a little bit and then just a little bit right there okay and then we're gonna drop the opacity on it a little lower right there I dropped it to 41 percent and we're gonna merge that okay now the last thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna fill in her eye with some white Go ahead and open your color wheel and go ahead and go all the way up to um, select uh, white. And okay, yeah, we're good. And let's zoom in first. Zoom in on the eye. And let's just go ahead and start adding a little bit. Okay, in the next video, we're going to go over, well, yeah, we're going to start, probably start touching up on that eye. Start <clears throat> getting it a little bit sharper. Again, I apologize, you guys. I am just really under the weather right now. I'm not feeling so great. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I had to make this video. Because you know me. Always uploading. And if I say I'm going to upload, I'm going to upload. So, <laughs> got to get it done. That's all there is to it. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. But that looks really silly. So, real quick, let's just drop that opacity. Okay. That's good. And let's merge that. Alright, there we go. So, I'm sorry to cut this video short, you guys, but uh, like I said, I'm not feeling super well, so I'm going to try to rest up a little bit. And uh, you can expect to see um, part two to this video more than likely tomorrow evening. So, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Feel free to let me know how you're doing in the comment section below, and if you like what you see on this page, feel free to hit like and subscribe, and uh, like always, you guys uh, keep staying awesome, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Alright, take it easy.